Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHG Delft Institute for Water Education. From QGIS 3.18 you can more easily add raster legends to the print layout. To demonstrate this I'm going to use a project that I used in a previous video to explain the legend patches. It's a project with the Ruhr catchment and uh, QGIS gives a warning that the project file is older, but that's not a problem. And uh, I can open the print layout that I made for that previous video. Here's the print layout with the legend patches. And uh, let's zoom in a bit to place our legend for the DEM. So as usual, I just click the add legend button to add the legend. And then I uh, switch off auto update to be able to make changes here to the legend. And I'm going to only use the DEM here because the other parts are already under the map. I removed the whole group there. So there's my raster legend. If I double click on the legend, I can add some uh, settings here. So I'll specify the width 5 millimeters and the height 50 millimeters. And um, I want also that the meters in the legend are specified as a suffix. So I add a space and an M and you see now that the meters are there. Let's change a few other settings to make it uh, nicer to look at some of the features. So in this case, in our map, our low areas are on the top. So it's a bit more intuitive to make the low values at the top. Let's remove here some of the text that we don't need and let's edit the label and call it elevation. Now it already looks great, but we have this white background that we want to remove. So I scroll down and I uncheck the box for background. If you don't want a vertical legend, but a horizontal one, that's also possible. Let's double click on the legend. And then if we scroll down, we can choose here for orientation horizontal. And we see it, that it's changed, but now we also need to change the dimension. So let's swap it 15 millimeters width and five millimeters height. And I want then the maximum on the right. That, um, looks a bit better here and then of course a bit big to find a good position but uh, you can put it where that makes more sense now to demonstrate that it adjusts for uh, the minimum and maximum values i change the minimum value to 100 so the colors are stretched in a different way and i go back and if i do refresh it is not automatically adapted and that is because the auto update is switched off, so I need to switch it on and then it will adjust. But then I also get those other items back again, so I need to remove those and apply the settings again. And there's a final map.